freeze, bitch. Oh, shit. I'm fucked. Now back up, put the gun down, and give me a pack of tropical fruit bubblicious. And some Skittles. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I'm your host, Tunji Taylor Lewis. Huh, guys, I just woke up from a glorious nap. So I'm actually feeling pretty good right now, not having to fight through as much fatigue as I normally have to do. Feeling really grateful about that. Um, so the Bad Boys for Life trailer just came out. Uh, Will Smith posted it on his Instagram. I saw it on YouTube earlier today. Uh, you know, good looking trailer as, as trailers usually are. Trailers are always looking good. Um, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little bit scared about this new Bad Boys movie, man. I... <sighs> I want it to be good. I really, really want it to be good. I I just don't know if it can. I'm basically I'm scared that this new Bad Boys movie isn't gonna be good. Um, and I I really, really want it to be because like as you guys have probably guessed by now, I'm a huge Will Smith fan. Will Smith is one of my heroes. Um, I'm also a huge like Martin Lawrence fan like when you know when it comes to comedy like that dude at his, at his peak man was probably like as good as it gets and uh, so I, I really want this movie to work but like I just don't know if, if it can um, I, I guess the I guess I have three reasons for why I'm scared that the bad new bad boys movie won't be good or three or four we'll see how this goes but uh, <laughs> Um, the first reason is that, um, man, they, they, they kind of old, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they're in their fifties when they started this franchise, they're in their, you know, late twenties, maybe early thirties. Um, and, uh, and I guess the reason why their age plays a factor to this is cause like this is an action movie. So, you know, they're going to be performing stunts and you know, they're going to be, you know, like jumping over the hood of the cars and, you know, like, you know, shooting stuff all over the place and performing like big athletic peaks. Um, we have a comment here that says uh, they got older, but I think we should give them a chance. Absolutely. I'm going to watch the movie. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to watch this movie. I'm just scared that because of their age, that it's not going to be as convincing. You know what I mean? Like, I think, it, you know, it definitely... They're gonna have to definitely throw in some jokes about there about how much diff more difficult it is to perform these stunts as it was when they were younger. You know what I'm saying? Um, knowing Will Smith and Martin Lawrence um, and how good they are with movies, they will probably have those jokes in there. Um, but yeah, that's that's my that's my first concern is that they they're old. I don't know how realistic it's gonna be for them to do all the stuff that they did back in the day with Bad Boys. Um, they're in, they're in great shape for their age, but they're still what their age is. So um, we'll see about that. Um, my second reason for why I'm not sure if this movie is is gonna be good uh, is because of Martin Lawrence, man. Martin Lawrence, <sighs> Martin Lawrence is just as as much as it breaks my heart to say he's just not the funny dude that he used to be back in the 90s you know he tried to have his tv come back and he's tried to have his movie come back and his stand-up come back um but like it just he just not his he just has not been able to get to that same level that he was at before um and it breaks my heart too because if you watch the first bad boys movie the the, the guy who stood out in that movie um was not will smith it was martin lawrence and it really wasn't even close like there's even a vlog that will smith posted a while back where he talks about the fact that he was a little bit insecure as a young man because he didn't get to be the comic relief in that movie it was martin and martin killed that movie martin was absolutely hilarious like when he had to pretend to be um like his taller and you know, more handsome partner you know what i'm saying like um and and just like being martin and who he was in general like with his facial expression and his and his jokes and his uh and his um and and his uh and his and his just overall like comedic ability he destroyed the first bad boys 
Um, you know, and then once you get to the second one, I got a combo right here, Kevin Hart or Martin Lawrence. Um, I would say as far as uh, uh, longevity in a career, Kevin Hart, but as a... Uh, as, as a performer at his peak, definitely Martin Lawrence. That was just an aside. Um, so as you get to the second movie, you start to see him, you know, like, you know, like, you know, he, he, he put on a couple pounds, you know, which is fine. You know, you get older, you put on a couple, that's fine. Um, later on, we started to realize that, you know, like behind the scenes, his personal life was starting to fall apart. So that's why he was starting to let himself go a little bit. And uh, Will Smith certainly had to carry that movie the second movie a lot more than he did in the first one because in the first one like Martin Lawrence was was killing it and then like in the second one he killed it a little bit less now it's 2019 you know Bad Boys 2 came out in 2003 it's 2019 Martin Lawrence has been through a whole bunch of other stuff um, we still love him from Martin from the sitcom uh, we still love that stuff you know what I mean um, and, and like that and that's like the great thing about black people by the way it's just like once you've like provided us value once if you've made us laugh at some point if you've entertained us at a certain level at one point we stay loyal so you know black people and Martin Lawrence's audience have like kept his career alive for this long but with that being said man like he's just like not the same like he's not even close to being the same dude he doesn't have that same spark he doesn't have that same energy when he's in talk shows when he's you know hosting shows and stuff like that um man i i, I don't know i don't know so 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 martin being one half of the bad boys and him not being the same dude as he was really really gives me cause to pause but once again i will watch the movie but that that um, definitely scares me as to like you know why it might not be actually all that great. Um, I have a third reason for why this movie scares me, why it's not going to be so good. Um, right, uh, just nostalgia movies in general. I'm a little bit scared because like you know that's what the industry is definitely pumping out and pushing out is like a lot of nostalgic movies. Um, you know, with all of like the Disney stuff and like you know, like the live action stuff, and you know, I can't come up with a whole bunch of you know examples right now. I've done past episodes of how much nostalgia is coming out right now, how many mis mis nostalgic movies are coming out, and uh, Bad Boys is certainly falling into that. Um, and I I'm a little bit scared that um, because maybe. The Hollywood um, industry will be relying on the fact that it's going to do well because of the nostalgia. They might not write a good movie. You know what I mean? Like they might not put actual effort into writing a well done piece of film. You know what I mean? Because when you're presenting something new, when you're presenting a new idea, you have to work a lot harder to convince an audience that this is awesome, like this is great. And uh, because Bad Boys already has a built-in audience, I'm scared that it's going to be really hacky and very lazily done. Um, and, uh, you know, Will Smith has definitely been leaning into nostalgia with his last few movies, like Aladdin definitely taps into um, nostalgia. Uh, Gemini, Gemini Man taps into nostalgia, but in a really creative way because uh, it's him against the younger version of himself. And we all fell in love uh, with Will Smith, you know, back in those days when he was freshman. So that's a really creative way of sort of like putting in like a nostalgic feel. Um, um, but uh, with this Bad Boys movie, because it's not, it obviously can't be all the same people who brought it up in the first place and invented it in the first place. I'm just a little bit scared that um, it's going to be like hacky and lazily done. Um, yeah, so yeah, those are my three reasons for why I'm scared that the Bad Boys movies aren't going to be good. With that being said, I hope they are. I really, really hope they are because like I love those movies and I love both of those performers, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. They're both, you know, heroes of mine. Um, that's all for today, y'all. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Peace.